Molly Grantham. Tonight, we have a young face to last night's tough headline. If you are watching here at 11, you know a four-year-old boy was shot and killed in Southeast Charlotte. It was breaking news last night, and tonight, we have more context. His name was Demario Warren, and police say he's dead because a gun wasn't stored properly. CMPD also says Demario's father, Deshaun Warren, now faces charges of manslaughter and improper storage of a firearm. Demario's mother spoke exclusively with WBTV after she heard the news. It's just a lot. I know they're going through it right now, too. And, and, and it's just painful to, you know, have to bury your own child. No four-year-old understands guns or should be around them. Irreversible consequences. Liliana Pearson is live tonight, and as we're on your side, making sure, Liliana, everyone knows a few key things to do to keep guns locked up and kids safe. What did you find tonight? Molly, you're absolutely correct, and I did reach out to CMPD to ask them about gun safety, but I haven't heard back from them yet. Meanwhile, the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office says that there's two things that they really want families to focus on. The first is making sure that you're storing those guns properly. They also walked us through how to make sure you're doing that. And second, to make sure you're having these conversations with kids. Make sure they understand that there are real-life dangers when it comes to guns. Get, Brandy know. Parham knows firsthand how dangerous guns can be. Is that my son is shot, you know, and, and, and basically unattended. I feel like it could have been resolved. Now she's calling for action to lock up your guns and keep them away from children. If you have a gun, put it up. It's cases just like this one that have the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office handing out free gun locks. Uh, we're trying to be proactive instead of reactive. Deputy Patrick Colson says these simple devices could save a life. All you have to do is take out the gun's magazine, clear the chamber, and thread through the lock, making it impossible for the firing mechanism to engage. Keeping guns stored in a gun safe is also a good measure. You can get a gun box or a gun vault or things of that nature. Um, make sure that they're out of the reach and out of the sight of the children. Colson says kids see guns in movies and video games. They don't understand the real life consequences that comes with handling them. They are not sure whether or not the guns are safe and things of that nature. Finally, talk to your children so they understand when they see a gun, they need to find an adult. Tell the parent that you saw the gun and, you know, let the parents or the, the guardians just move it to a place where it's more safe. And the sheriff's office is going to be handing out some of those gun locks this weekend. You can go and pick one up if you need this Saturday from 11 to 7, so long as you swing by the Carolina Shootings Arm. And again, they hand those out completely for free. In Charlotte, I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV, on your side. It's the goal is to protect people and not have what happened last night happen again.